What's happened in recent years is that there's been a real explosion of the number of uh, studies that have looked at vitamin D, where there have been associations and links where there's thought to be potential where it might be important with a number of other diseases. So when you're reading through sort of the news papers and the health sections and all of that side of things. I think it's why it's often, you know, you read a different vitamin D story each week. So low vitamin D is associated with, let's say, a bunch of very bad things. But what's tricky is finding out if low vitamin D is actually causing these issues and would topping up make them any better. Now where the controversy then comes in is that really to answer those questions you know, the sort of high, highest level of evidence are what we call randomised control trials and then meta-analyses which where you look at a number of randomised control trials and then look to see if there's, a, if there's an impact of, of actually replacing vitamin D on that health outcome. And, and that's where the stumbling block is really, is for a lot, although there's kind of quite nice basic science data and you know, strong associations between these health co- outcomes in observational side of things, they don't actually confirm that there's causality. 